in these questions we're going to learn how to calculate the starting amount so for number one it tells us that an amount is invested for five years at 10 percent simple interest the final amount of the investment is 9,000 Rand. Calculate the starting amount. Well, in previous videos, we've seen that the formula for simple interest goes like this, where A is your final amount and P is your starting amount. So all you do is you fill in everything that you have. So we, we've been told for number one that the final amount is 9,000 Rand. The starting amount, we don't know what that is. That's the point of this question. The interest rate is 10% or 0 0.1 if you divide by 100 and it's for 5 years. So the point of this now is to get P by itself. So all you do is, because there's a multiplication in between this P and this bracket, you just take the bracket to the left hand side by dividing. And so what you end up with is something that looks like this. And then what you can do is type all of that on the calculator and get a final answer of 6,000 Rand. So that means the person started with 6,000 Rand, invested for five years to get a final amount of 9,000 Rand. I just realized, and sorry for any of you who tried this question in advance, this number here was written as a 3 and this number was a 5. And so there was a bit of a mismatch with the number of years. It's meant to be 5 years. So, John would like to have 10,000 Rand saved in 5 years. The bank offers him an interest rate of 12%. How much should John invest now so that he will be able to obtain the 10,000 Rand? So here's a person who would like to have 10,000 Rand saved in five years time so how much should they start saving now how much should they invest now so that they will their money will grow to become 10,000 Rand in five years time so we use the simple interest formula where a which is your final amount we've been told is 10,000 Rand we don't know how much we are starting with so that's P and then we've got an interest rate of 12% which is 0 0.12 if you divide that by 100 and then it's for five years then what you do to get p by itself is you take this whole bracket to the left hand side and so you divide like that and that'll get p by itself and if you do that you'll get an amount of 6,000 250 rand so it means that John would have to start by saving 6250 rand today he would have to put that into an investment and it will grow to 10,000 rand in five years time